Hello, hello, hello. Amphrodite here, your pop culture psychic, back to you again with another true crime reading. This time, we are going to be doing Unsolved Mysteries, Volume 2, Episode 1. Uh, this is the John slash Jack Wheeler case. Now, before I get started, let me just go ahead and tell you that you might notice that things are moved a little bit differently in the background. I just did a reading on Robert the Doll, and then afterwards I had ants randomly appear in my apartment, and a lot of people are convinced that that's from Robert. So if it was, I'm sorry, Robert. Um, but I am happy to tell the story. Um, so things aren't like super perfect, just letting you know. Uh, so that's why things are a little bit different. And you'll probably notice that I'm a little bit erratic because I just finally got rid of all the ants. So that being said, I was able to watch this episode. Um, basically, for those of you that don't know the backstory, he worked for the government and he showed up in a landfill. Um, there's a lot of like intricacies to this story, um, but overall it's pretty much like kind of cut and dry. We're trying to figure out what happened, why he was a target. It was, I think, believe, I believe it was ruled a homicide. Trying to figure out like what exactly got there. Now he did have bipolar disorder, so it might be a little bit difficult to differentiate between something that is like a motive versus uh, a mental break or something, but we're going to go ahead and give it a, a try. So remember, these readings are all alleged for entertainment purpose only. And let's get started. This is my Taylor Swift card, by the way. <laughs> this really looks like Taylor Swift. <clears throat> so this is the Page of Wands. So Page of Wands is all about expression and speaking your truth. Empress is reversed. Huh. Queen of Wands reversed. Uh oh. Where is this female energy coming from? Hmm. So there's a feminine energy here, the Queen of Wands reversed. This is some sort of threat. The Empress is reversed, which makes me think it's either a powerful female or we're looking at his wife. Now, if that's the wife, then there's something to do with another female that she doesn't know. I'm not certain that that indicates like a extramarital affair but it looks like there's some sort of threat. I think that he was being set up to look a certain way. He was baited by a female somewhere or somebody was trying to bait him with a female. So, cause like the page of wands is an expression, right? It's like telling on someone. And then we see the queen of wands. So it seems to me like somebody was trying to bait him to set him up and this it's not the girl i believe the girl was one piece of bait there is something that was going on for a long time before he ended up dead that he had started to pick up on like he had started to pick up on certain things that were out of the ordinary like why is this random girl into me or why is this person pushing my boundary here at the time People were just dismissing these small things as like, oh, they don't have any relevance, but they all do. Someone was after him and they were trying to bait him and expose him for something. So this feels very like allegedly for entertainment purposes only very political in nature, um, like trying to get him to have a scandal and him being too smart to take the bait. That's what this reads as. As the Knight of Pentacles says, it has to have been happening consistently. And the Page of Swords is about wanting to create a fight. And the Ten of Wands is a burden. So to me, this is like someone who had an axe to grind. Yeah, I told you the Five of Pentacles is an abuse of power. So it's someone that felt like he was abusing his power and wanted to like, what's the word? Usurp him? I don't know what that word is, but like get him off the throne basically. Yep. Yeah, there was a lot of money and time put into this. Like he was, yeah, because the Queen of Pentacles is a verse. So to me, there was a lot of like, there was a lot of like, um, 
weaponizing of certain things. This he was trying to be baited. I'm telling you, they were baiting. They were trying to bait him for a while. There is a massive betrayal from someone that must have happened right before all this drama happened. There had to have been a massive betrayal in his inner circle. The chariot is upright, the ten of swords is upright, and the nine of cups. That would be like, it's like let me put this into perspective for you. That would be like an informant, like someone who is low key a cop the whole time, like that just like exposed, like a whistleblower type of scenario. There had to be someone that like switched to the other side. Okay, like th we're talking like. snitch behavior um someone close to him there seems to be a snitch that was close to him um i'm telling you right now he was on their trail i'm convinced that he was on their trail um and i don't know if he even realized that he was where that trail was leading so he figured that someone was trying to bait him and he was started to figure out that there was stuff that was like People were trying to set him up and stuff, but and he was on the trail, but he didn't figure out who it was just yet. That's what I'm seeing. Yep. It's exactly what I'm seeing. See, because here's the King of Cups and the Knight of Cups is reverse, which means that um, there was no emotional connection to it just yet. And because I'm seeing it as someone that was close enough to him for him to recognize, that means that he didn't realize it yet. So I don't think he had realized who it was just yet, but he was on their trail and this person knew he was on their trail, did not like that. Um, the 10 of Pentacles is a verse as well, which to me usually indicates some sort of hit. Uh, that's like, you know, a lot of money um, on this on the line. Uh, the world's upright. Again, we're talking about like out of state, out of country lines here. Like world for me would indicate like cross country lines. Uh, the justice card is upright, by the way, which hmm, the queen of swords reverse. Uh, to me, that's being in over your head. Uh, justice card is about like legal issues. But in this indication, like I said before, there's a traitor. Uh, like this feels more along the lines of like, I don't know, like treason or something like that. Or those big words that I don't know how to say or exactly what they mean. But I, hopefully you understand what I'm trying to get to. Um, now the Hierophant's upright. So Hierophant is all about like um, commitment um, and follow through and the Eight of Swords is about pressure and the Four of Swords reverse. This person, what I see is like this person be like, oh no, John, why did you do that? You shouldn't have done that. Now this is going to happen. Like it's almost like this person was trying to protect him but then failed. Um, it also looks to me like... Uh, Maybe the church is a significant thing here because it is a, a religious card here. But for me, it it reads as like trying to cause a scandal. I'm telling you, I feel like he was. They were trying to cause a scandal um, in his marriage. They were trying to cause a scandal, like to get public, to get him publicly ridiculed. Like it was to like humiliate him and kind of knock him down because they felt like he was abusing his power. It's weird. It's definitely someone he trusted. I'm telling you. Four of Wands reverse, which means they left the, the they left the, the environment. So it's someone that left very quickly. I told you it's a traitor. And the high priest is upright, which means someone he trusted. And the sun is reverse, which is about unhappiness and uh, a breaking of a happy moment. So to me, it's like, wow, I can't believe that. Uh, let's keep going. Yep, well, there's the death card. It's reversed, though. Realistic. Okay, so this right here is documenting his death. So the death card is reversed, which means that I actually don't know if he was supposed to die or if it was just supposed to be a warning. Because um, the Seven of Cups is about a dose of realism and the death card here... I, I, it is an accidental death. I actually think that he was just supposed to be scared and like, think of it like when they kidnap someone and kind of like really like super threaten them. Um, to me, it was like one of those, like this was supposed to be a message, but it went a little bit further because this seven of swords is sneaking up on someone. As you can see, like waiting and sneaking up. Um, I'm also going to tell you that he was with someone else at, at this point. There is a witness. 
he was with someone else because this card has two people on it. So for me, I think there is a witness. I don't know where that witness is. I don't know if that witness is scared to death or not, but there is someone else here that witnessed this that was there when he was like grabbed for sure. For sure. There's to he was somebody that he was with. Either someone that was driving him or whatever. There was someone there. Yep. The moon is reversed. Someone knows exactly what happened. Um, 100%. Um, the star is upright and the three of pentacles reverse. Uh, I'm a little bit concerned because the star is about like the media and the public and, and all that stuff and the attention and the three of pentacles reverse. Uh, that's a job card. His job is a motivator. We know that. But this person, I don't know if this has happened already. I think it happened already, to be honest. This person was threatened and potentially paid off. Um, if it hasn't happened, then that is something that could happen because we're looking at the two of pentacles, which is a deal, the five of swords, which is like, you don't really remember that, right? You don't remember that detail, but you don't remember this detail. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Um, and the three of wands reverse, which to me usually indicates, um, like getting caught in the middle of something. I think that someone doesn't want to admit that's that there was a traitor here. And I think they know who did it. And I think they don't want to admit that there's a traitor here. And I think that's where this messy mess gets started. I really think that's what caused this. Is like if we um, if we solve this murder, if we figure this out, there are more questions and there are stuff that would have to be explained that they don't want to. So I think that's why we're not really going super hard to try to figure this one out. Because there's other stuff that's at play that the public is not supposed to know. Because it would be a threat to, like, you know, people's feeling of security. That's what I'm seeing. That's what it reads as. Uh, the Nine of Pentacles upright, the Five of Cups upright, um, and uh, the Eight of Wands upright. So to me, uh, that's about changing the narrative. Quickly changing the narrative, um, focusing on him as a person. Um, and the Five of Cups is about, like, you know, that's, like, honoring him and all the disappointment. It's like, let's change the narrative. Let's make it all about how good of a person he was. <clears throat> let's make it about his mental illness. Um, the four of pentacles is upright. Let's showcase him as a little bit more selfish and greedy. Probably has to do with the house. Yeah. Three of cups reverse, strength upright, and queen of cups reverse as well. Uh, which, uh, I don't know where all this feminine energy is coming in. So this is going to be hard because it's hard to do this reading without someone who has some sort of knowledge of the situation where I can place each, you know, feminine energy here. I think there was one that was used to bait him into a potential scandal. It didn't work. This guy was not interested in stuff like that. He doesn't really strike me as a player. Um, but the Three of Cups, the Strength card, and the Queen of Cups. Interesting. That's like playing the long game oh this is like the, the smoke bombs right this is the past and then this is new action there was a lot of like gaslighting there's a lot of gaslighting of him as a person whoever this was knew how to make him tick they knew how to make him tick and make him go crazier. That's exactly what they were doing. They were gaslighting him. They were making him feel like he was crazy. This is like, it's like torture. I'm telling you, they were like making him feel like he was crazy for like the week before. I'm telling you. The King of Swords reverse, the Emperor's reverse, and the Nine of Wands. I'm going to make it, I'm going to make it get worse before it gets better. This is like torture. Um, and the Emperor's reverse, the King of Swords reverse too, which means that um, th th it's interesting because the Emperor being reversed means once again, they want to knock him off the throne. But it also usually indicates uh, someone in a position of power that is abusing it, right? But it indicates someone else in a position of power being a target. So... There must have been another target.
There's another target here. Yeah, there's another target. The Knight of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, and the Hermit's reversed. There's another target here. There was another target. Someone bigger than him. Getting out of comfort zone. Lots of effort in Knight of Wands. There was a bigger target. Yeah. Yep. He was supposed to be... So that's why they wanted to keep him alive, by the way. So that makes sense. That's exactly why they wanted to keep him alive, because they wanted to get him talking. Bad luck. There went our fucking golden ticket. Temp Temperance card. I wanted to gossip with you, which translates to get information out of you because of a connection you have. Yeah, he was supposed to... They were, they were going to try and force him to give information about someone more important than him. That's kind of what I'm seeing. Um... Not really sure. I mean, I guess I can pull from the Dark Mirror Oracle deck and kind of see if there's anything in addition. I'll just put it over this deck really quick. Brian a Cage. I told you that there's some sort of scandal they were trying to elicit from him because they wanted to publicly humiliate him. See? This is like a seductress card. Temple of my body would be like a hooker. So it's like there's like some sort of like trying to get him in a freaking scandal and expose him. It didn't work though. Peaceful among thorns meant he was too smart from that and didn't take the bait. Because they were trying to get information from him. See, Naked Before the Stars is about showcasing everyone what you did. Obsession, that's an axe to grind. Anger and chains, they were pissed off. Queen of my own world, threatened his wife. Calling the storm, see, that's the drama, threatened to the wife. And Parasite, that's like making him go crazy and infiltrating him and making him go insane. So definitely, definitely a little bit more calculated than I was initially expecting. Um... So I think to sum it up, they were definitely trying to get him to get into a scandal, to embarrass him, uh, to make him feel ashamed. Wouldn't be surprised if it was to recruit him because it looks like someone here was like flipped on the wrong side. It was like a double agent. Um, it seems like they were gaslighting him and trying to make him feel crazy and go crazy, crazier. Um, it seems to me that they were after someone that he had knowledge on, someone he's connected to. Um, so they were using him to try to get to that. I think the death was accidental. I think it was supposed to be like a torture more so than anything. There was a witness. Now, I can't tell if that witness was scared off or if they were paid off. I can't figure that out. I, I, I'm, I'm inclined to believe that they were scared off. Um, but whoever it is was prepared to pay them off if they needed to. Um, and his job is like, the one to blame because the three of pentacles reverse so that's kind of what i'm seeing um if you guys have any other questions put them down in the comments down below um that's kind of it uh, make sure you follow me twitter instagram youtube twitch tiktok amphrodite let me know what other readings you want me to do uh go watch the other unsolved mysteries cases that i've done i'm going to do the whole new volume two series so you'll get the next episode soon um, if you guys want a tip, there's a link to my PayPal down below. And until next time, bye guys.